Okay, so hello guys. Um, in this video, we'll look at reflection uh, refraction of light. <coughs> now we have looked at reflection and we define what it was. Now today let's look at refraction. Now what do you mean by when you say refraction? This is just the bending of light. The bending of light rays. <coughs> now why do they bend? They bend when coming from one medium to the other. Okay, but how does this happen? This is the medium. So we have two mediums. Medium one and medium two. So this is the normal line. Okay, so light will be coming from that, maybe to go like that. Okay, now this is what we call the incident ray. And this is what we call the reflected ray. And this angle here is what we call the angle of refraction. And this angle here. What we call the angle of incidence. So this is what happens. So when light is coming from one medium, going to the other medium, it usually bends. Why? Because the two medium they are different. They are different in terms of what in density. That's why light is able to bend. <coughs> now there are two incidences that you need to know. So when light is moving, let's say <clears throat> this is light coming goes like that. What does this have to tell you? Well, look at this angle and this angle. Okay, this uh, the reflected ray it has moved away from the normal. Remember this is the normal. It has moved away from the normal. This is medium one. This is medium one two. What does this tell you? This tell you tells you that. Medium, medium one is dense than medium two. Okay. When you, well, when you have something like this, <coughs> then when you have something like this, okay. Medium one, medium two. This will tell you that medium. Two is dense than medium one. So those are the two factors that you need to know. <coughs> we continue. Next is the two rows of what refraction. Next is the two rows of refraction. The rows of refraction. The first row says that the normal ray, the incident ray, and the refracted ray, they all lie on the same plane. They all lie on the same one plane. But what do they mean by that? What we mean is this. Okay, so this is the incident length. That's the refracted length. They are both on the same plane. This is a plane. Okay. <clears throat> Number two, which is the what we call the snail's law. Okay. Snail's law states that sign of angle of incidence sorry the ratio the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the uh, sine of angle of refraction 
is a constant. Okay, it is a constant. So that's snail of law. So the, the sign of angle of incidence to the sign of angle of refraction is what? Is a constant. But what do they mean? <coughs> what that means that A, which is a constant, sine i over sine r is equal to this constant. Now, this N you are seeing here is what we call the refractive, the refractive index. And this is where I'll end. Thank you so much.